Hi my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So I did mention in my last video that I did want to do an updated foundation routine. So that is what I brought you guys today. Um, this is my foundation routine I guess. Like I said in the video um, that you guys will watch in a little bit. I did use only two new products. All the other products I've had before. Um, some of the products I had reviewed before and I didn't like them. Um, but I grew to love them. Some of them are new products that I reviewed. And I started like incorporating them in my daily makeup routine so if you want to see how i achieved this look and what products i used then just feel free and keep on watching but 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 before you guys continue watching make sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys head out today and you guys can hit that like button at the end of the video if you guys did enjoy it or not because how can you guys like a video if you guys haven't even seen it but if you do like my pretty face then you can go ahead and hit that like button just kidding what am I thinking? Anyways, just feel free and keep on watching. So, I did mention in my last video that I did want to do like an updated foundation routine just because um, a few products have changed um, that have been making my foundation look bomb A1. Um, some of the products are like still the same, but for the most part, some of them have changed. And some of them I used to use and I didn't like and then I used them and I used them again. So to start off, you guys know that I had been using this one in my previous videos when I was doing um, like a lot of makeup tutorials. And it's the No Pore Blum um, Primer, the one that, that came in my BoxyCharm. Literally, I am obsessed with this. As you guys can see, I'm almost done with this. I take about that much product and I love it because it's just so silky and just so like creamy. Like it feels like, it kind of feels like a silicone based primer, um, but not so much. The only thing that I do have to say is that it just, um, it does take like a little while for it to actually soak into the skin. Um, so when I'm off the camera, when I'm doing my makeup like for work or for, I'm just getting ready for something, I apply the primer first and then I do my brows. That way when I'm, by the time I'm done with my brows, since my brows take a long time, by the time I'm done with my brows, like the primer is nice and set in. The foundation that I had used before that I did a review on and I said, I liked it and then I did an update for you guys and I said I didn't like it. I like it again and that's the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. Again, I did get the shade F2.20 um, and this one is a matte foundation. You guys know I already did my review on that. If you guys want to see it, I'll go ahead and leave it linked down below. But yeah, I found to love this foundation. I started. I used it one time because I ran out of my Frankie Rose and you guys know that my Frankie Rose... Do I still have it? No, I think I tossed it but... My Frankie Rose is like my go-to foundation, but I haven't picked it up again. Um, but yeah, so I have been using the Morphe one, and honestly, bomb. I'm almost finished with it, so I need to pick up another of my Frankie Rose. So I take about that much product, right about there. And then, I'm just going to put my hair back. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender, and then I just start to... Tap that in. I always have trouble like blending out my foundation on my forehead because first of all I get it all the time on my on my little hairs and then I don't want to get it on my brow but it's like I need to get it really close. So I'm just going to take a little bit more for my forehead. So I just take a while to just really make sure that the foundation is really, really blended in. And that's what I found that makes my foundation look so much better and like airbrushed. So now moving on to concealer. Again, I did do a video on these as well. Um, so first I go in with the KKW Beauty, Beauty Concealer in the shade 6. This one is a little bit um, darker even though it's, it's not really much of a difference, but... This one is like, I feel like a little bit more on the yellow side. So just bring it on the sides of my nose, like so, down my nose. So with this one, I go in with this one a little bit more, just because this one, if you guys do know me and you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that I like like yellow concealers. So this one is the one that does the job for me. Then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that out. A little goes a long way. You really don't need much, but I like like that highlighted under eye. Not super super white, but obviously still to be able to tell like a difference. 
and it blends out so so nicely and then after that i go in with number five it's a little bit lighter and i honestly i just like apply it like directly underneath my eyes in this area and then just down my nose just a little bit so pretty much just like that again i like like a highlighted under eye but not super super light and then just gonna go in and blend that out and this one is the one that makes it really really like highlighted and again that's why i don't really go in with much because you can see that just gave it so much more like brightness and i'm not gonna set it because then i'm gonna go in with my kkw contour stick and this is in the shade medium too so i'm gonna i'll start off on my forehead so i do one right there one right there and one right there and then I used to blend it out with my Beauty Blender, but and then I got this um, brush, I believe in my BoxyCharm, and it's just like a small buffer brush, um, and I've seen a lot of people use brushes like this, like for their cream contour, and I had always wanted to get one, so when I got it in my BoxyCharm, I was like, yes, you know, like I finally got it, and I didn't have to go out and like physically purchase it. So, like, do you see how easily that blended out? I know you can't really see much. But that's kind of the goal. It's more like of a subtle contour. And then my cheek. And then I kind of like flick it up a little bit. And then dots right there. And then again. I kind of like stipple it. Like tap it in. And it blends out so like effortlessly. Like super, super easy. So now that it's all blended out, you guys seen how like nice and easy that blended out. Then I just go back in my under eye and I kind of just go over like that contour just to kind of blend it in all together. Don't mind that little pimple. Boy, it wasn't little before. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And this is in the, share, in the shade Fair. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to use it for my entire face just because it is the color fair. Um, but yeah, then let me just blend out these creases. And I'm just going to take that on my beauty blender. Damn, I feel like I haven't used translucent powder in forever. Even though this isn't like translucent powder, but I haven't used anything like this for my under eyes in a cool minute. And I'm going to drag it down the sides of my nose. And then in the middle of my nose. And then since I have it here, I'm going to go ahead and cut my contour. And then with whatever I have left, I'm not going to dip it back into that. I'm going to kind of just close that up. With whatever I have left, which is not really much, I'm even going to tap some off. I'm going to just blend that bottom um, powder in. And then I'm going to lightly just go over that brown, that contour stick. And then same with the under eye, blend it in. As you guys know, I like it way, 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 way better when I press the powder into my skin instead of just wiping it off. I feel like when you wipe it off, it kind of gives you like a different finish. Whereas when you like tap it, all in and makes it just look super super nice and airbrushed which that's the goal 24 7 and then i know i didn't put any on my forehead but again just doing it like so okay and then since i still see that really harsh line i don't like that um what i do is i go in with this luxi tapered highlight brush it's a highlight brush but i use it for here i just go like in between both and just blend that out just so I don't have that harsh line, you see? It kind of just smooth that out. And then now, this is um, another new product that I had been loving. I got this one from the Makeup Shack, and it's the Silhouette Contour Palette. Honestly, guys, where have this, where have this palette been all my life? I have no idea. But, oh my god, it is so 
so amazing this is what it looks like so it has so many like contour shades if i'm gonna be honest i really don't use these shades up here i did use this one one time and it just creased the hell out of my under eyes so i did not like it but the main bronzer contour color that i use is this one sometimes i'll use this one as like a blush which it's really really pigmented so if you guys are gonna get this one trust me this one is super pigmented so you barely barely tap into that one um so for the most part i use sun kiss and sometimes i'll tap into like these i hardly tap into this one just because this one is really really dark so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and take this morphe brush it's like an angled brush and then i'm taking sun kiss and then i'm just gonna apply that to my forehead for a while I would apply um, my bronzer and then apply my lashes and that was it because I was following, well I follow the Murillo twins on Instagram, but um, there's one in particular which is Brianna that she, her makeup looks so bomb all the time and she kind of did like a mini like Snapchat tutorial, Snapchat mini like Instagram tutorial and she gave like a couple of tips of what she does and she said that she doesn't, um, that she doesn't use highlighter so highlight highlighter that she doesn't use highlight and um that's why her face looks so like smooth and airbrushed because she doesn't use highlight and then i'm going to take a smaller like fluffy angled brush not angled brush but like tapered and then i'm just gonna contour my nose just a little bit i don't like go into like detail i literally just go in because i found that one like my my full face is like nice and like bronzed and like everything i feel like my nose is kind of just like it's like just left out but i really don't do much as you guys can see that's pretty much like all i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna go in to some kiss a little bit more There was times where I, when I was doing like my foundation for work and I was like not running late, but I was like, um, I wanted to more of that matte finish. So pretty much I would stop right here just to apply my lashes or eyeshadow, whatever. And this was pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. As you guys know, I had always used um, my Morphe setting spray, um, but my mom did get this one too yesterday because I heard really good things about this one. I used to use this one when I like first started doing my makeup and I just never, ever purchased it again. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out again just to see how like good it is i guess so it feels so weird using like the mist or not even mist like the how it sprays out because i had i've been using the morphe one for so long okay so i went ahead and i let the um setting spray set and i put on my lashes this setting powder like can we like, look at my skin. Just ignore my lips because they're a little chapped. Where's my chapstick? Look at how, like, nice and airbrushed my skin looks. I am... <clears throat> Literally, I am shooketh. I am definitely going to have to go back and get, like, one that's closer to my skin tone. Um, just because this one is fair. And the only reason why I got the one fair is because my mom's a little bit lighter. And I feel, and I told her that she can use it just as a, like, translucent powder. Which she could, just, like, how I did. Just put it on and then dust it off really quickly. Um, but, oh my gosh. So, I am going to apply highlight. So, the two highlights that, like, I never, ever, ever go wrong with. And are always, like, my go-to. Are the dose of color, dose of colors, Daisy X, Desi X, Katie, um, Fuego, which is this one right here, and then my one and only M Rizzi X Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, I go in with this Morphe M510. You guys know that this was like my ride or die. So first, I go in with the dose of colors one, just because that one is a little bit more, like, deeper. Not obviously so so dark, but it's a little bit darker than the M Rizzi one. So I kind of just apply it just like so. And this one by itself is already really, really nice and like blinding if you put a lot. But I 
don't really want to put that much, so, and I'm going to get my finger and then just apply it to here and down the nose, and then I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Anastasia one and just hit it like right in the center just because this one is a little bit more like of that wet look. So I just hit it like right about here. And then I just kind of get my smile on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, I think I applied too much to my nose. But okay. So I already applied it setting spray, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it again. Okay guys, so this was pretty much it for this entire updated foundation routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed As I said, some of the products you have seen me use in the past and I didn't like, and some of them are new products that I've added into like my foundation routine to get this bomb makeup look. Honestly guys, I am shook with how this look came out. Honestly, I think what makes it look so different is either the setting, the loose finishing powder, or the foundation, or the setting spray because i've used all the other products before but honestly my makeup just looks so good today i'm gonna try using this and then my morphe setting spray to see if there's a difference and then like vice versa i won't use this but i'll use this um but yeah this was pretty much it i know not much has changed but i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys like updated of how i do certain things or what products i have been loving that I think you guys would love too. And if you guys did enjoy this video, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already. Again, don't forget to hit that little bell so you guys are notified every single time I upload a new video. And that is all I have to say and I will see you guys on the next one.